Governor Steve Bullock announced today he's running for the nation's highest office. Bullock, a Democrat, becomes the latest to enter the 2020 race. He was elected to his second term as Montana governor in 2016, but can't run again due to term limits. Prior to winning the governor's office in 2012, Bullock served one term as Montana Attorney General. He's a native of Montana, born in Missoula and raised in Helena. Bullock holds a law degree from Columbia University Law School in New York. That makes the total now 22 Democrats running for president the, to become the party's nominee to challenge President Donald Tr uh, Trump in 2020. And the 22nd entry officially today is none other than Montana's own Governor Steve Bullock. MTN's chief political reporter Mike Dennison was at Bullock's campaign kickoff events in Helena and files this report on the not unexpected move by the governor. Governor Bullock kicked things off at 4 a.m. Tuesday with a two-minute, 44-second campaign video going heavy on his campaign theme of getting big money out of politics and how to skew the system against the average person. I believe in an America where every child has a fair shot to do better than their parents. But we all know that that kind of opportunity no longer exists for most people. For far too many, it never has. That's why we need to defeat Donald Trump in 2020 and defeat the corrupt system that lets campaign money drown out the people's voice. He followed that up with an interview Tuesday morning with Montana reporters at his campaign headquarters in Helena, where he talked more about what brought him into the race. As he put it, the country has become more and more divided, and he has a record of bridging the political divide to do good things for the people, like expanding Medicaid coverage in Montana and cracking down on dark money in politics. Then it was on to the big event of the day, meeting with students at his alma mater, Helena High, including his daughter, Caroline, and a scrum of national media. This morning, we released a video announcing that I was running for president of the United States in 2020. It's a pretty audacious goal for a B student who sat in the same <laughs> seats that you actually sat or are sitting in right now. The rest of this week, it's off to Iowa for Bullock, who campaigns Thursday, Friday, and Saturday in the state that holds the first presidential nominating caucus next February. Tuesday, however, was the easy part for Bullock. Now comes the hard part, trying to distinguish himself in a huge and experienced field of national-level political talent. He'll talk about winning in a Trump state and rural America, and his bona fides on fighting and spotlighting corporate money in politics. But will it be enough for a late entry into this crowded, star-studded race? For Steve Bullock, it's been quite the winding trail, from this high school to governor of Montana. Now he'll try to make the jump to a much higher level and extend that political journey. Reporting from Helena, Mike Dennison, MTN News. And on his first official campaign swing for President Bullock, as Mike mentioned, is heading off to Iowa this week, the site of the first in the nation presidential nominating primary uh, nominating caucus next February. Today he kicked off his campaign with his formal announcement at Helena High School where the two-term governor attended high school, graduating in 1984. Then on Thursday, Bullock is off to Iowa. His first stop will be Des Moines where he will hold his first campaign event. Campaign sta uh, stops across Iowa are planned through Saturday with events across the Hawkeye State. Bullock's campaign has claimed Iowa to be their primary focus. Governor Bullock may be the first Montanan to pursue the presidential nomination for a major political party.